What would you do if tomorrow the cash in your wallet became worthless? It's a scary thought, right? In today's video, I'll share 24 essential items you should have on hand for bartering when money loses its value. Let's start with the most fundamental need, food. Now, being self-sufficient is key in a barter system, and there's no better way to achieve that than with high-quality, non-GMO seeds. Think about it this way. These seeds aren't just about getting your next meal. They represent a sustainable source of food for the long haul. I remember the time I decided to plant a little garden in my backyard. It was amazing. Fresh tomatoes bursting with flavor, crisp lettuce that crunched perfectly in a salad, juicy strawberries straight from the vine. It was like living in a food magazine. Here's the real kicker. Heirloom seeds are the golden ticket. These special seeds produce plants whose seeds you can save and use for future plantings. That means you have a constant cycle of food production. A free, perpetual food machine right in your backyard. Imagine the long-term benefit. You're not just investing in a few meals, you're investing in a future where you have a steady supply of fresh produce. And let's not forget the bartering power. In a barter system, your surplus veggies and fruits become valuable commodities. Need some batteries? Maybe you can trade some cucumbers. Short on soap? Offer up a few bell peppers. Your garden becomes your personal mini-economy, providing you with tradable goods. Let's move on to item number two, hand tools. Forget those fancy electric gadgets, folks. When the power goes out, they're about as useful as a chocolate teapot. Hand tools, on the other hand, are your best friends in a survival situation. We're talking axes, saws, hammers, screwdrivers, the real MVPs of any toolbox. I can't stress enough how important these become. Imagine needing to repair your shelter, build something essential, or just fix a broken tool. That's where a quality hand tool is worth its weight in gold. I've got a collection of hand tools that I've been building for years. They're not just tools, they're investments. A good axe, taken care of properly, can last a lifetime. And in a barter economy, their value skyrockets. Imagine this, everyone around you is struggling to fix things or build basic structures. You walk in with your tools and suddenly you're the go-to person. That kind of skill and resourcefulness makes you invaluable within your community. I've used my hand tools for everything from building a shed in my backyard to repairing furniture. When the grid goes down, self-sufficiency becomes key. A handsaw or a hammer can make all the difference. You won't be waiting around for someone else to come and fix things. You'll be in control, and that's a powerful position to be in. Plus, there's the added satisfaction of knowing you tackle the problem head-on, relying on your own skills and tools. Trust me, it's an empowering feeling. Number 3. Alcohol Before you jump to conclusions, no, I'm not just talking about having a good time to unwind, although a little stress relief never hurt anyone. In a barter system, high-proof alcohol becomes surprisingly versatile. First and foremost, it's a fantastic disinfectant. Clean wounds, sterilize equipment, keep those pesky infections at bay. In a world with limited access to conventional medical supplies, that's a game changer. Take whiskey, for example. I always keep a few bottles of high-proof whiskey around. Not only is it a strong disinfectant, but it's also a fantastic bartering item. People will want it for a drink, sure, but its value as a trade item goes way beyond that. A bottle of whiskey could get you a week's worth of food, some essential tools, or even medical supplies if you barter it properly. But wait, there's more. Let's not forget the stress relief aspect. When the world seems to be falling apart around you, a little bit of normalcy can go a long way. A glass of whiskey or a shot of vodka can help you relax and clear your head, making it easier to focus on what really needs to be done. And for the truly prepared folks, we can even get into some DIY medicine. Did you know you can use high-proof alcohol to make tinctures and herbal extracts? Just soak those medicinal herbs in the alcohol, and you can create potent remedies that last for years. This kind of preparation can keep you and your family healthy, even when traditional medicine is hard to come by. In a world where supermarket shelves are barren, knowing how to fend for yourself becomes crucial. That's where hunting equipment comes into play. Hunting transforms from a hobby to a vital survival skill. Bows, crossbows, traps, and snares. These are your new best friends. Now before you imagine yourself wielding a high-powered rifle, let's consider the advantages of these silent and sustainable tools. Unlike firearms, which are loud and require constant ammo refills, bows and crossbows offer a quieter, more long-term solution. You can learn to make your own arrows, ensuring a constant supply of ammunition. Plus, with practice, you can become incredibly accurate. I speak from experience. I have this amazing crossbow, compact, powerful, and it's never let me down. 
deer, wild turkey, even those pesky rabbits that keep munching on my tomatoes. I've taken them all down with this trusty weapon. Traps and snares are another essential part of my hunting arsenal. I've got a variety, from simple wire snares for small game like rabbits and squirrels, to more complex leg traps for larger animals. Setting up a snare line around your property is a fantastic way to secure a constant food source without expending a lot of energy. Speaking of turning that hard-earned kill into a delicious meal, let's move on to item number five, cooking supplies. In a world focused on survival, the way you cook your food becomes even more important. Sure, you can roast a rabbit over an open fire, but wouldn't a decent pot and cast iron pan be a lot more convenient? Now, you don't need a fancy gourmet kitchen, but having some essential tools can make a world of difference. Here's what I recommend. A good cast iron skillet is an absolute must-have. It can handle anything from frying meat to baking bread over a campfire. A stainless steel pot is also a great addition for boiling water, stewing vegetables, or making soups. Similarly, a sharp knife is your best friend in the kitchen. Investing in a good quality chef's knife for chopping, slicing, and dicing. Don't forget a smaller paring knife for more precise tasks. Also, a basic set of utensils like spatulas, spoons, and forks will go a long way. Look for durable, easily cleaned options. Remember, these items are not just for preparing your own food. Let's say you manage to bring down a deer and have more meat than you can eat. With these tools, you can transform that surplus into delicious, bartering-worthy meals. Imagine offering up some perfectly cooked venison jerky or a hearty stew in exchange for some much-needed medical supplies. That's the power of being resourceful in the kitchen. Let's now talk about item number six, water filtration systems. Remember, water is life. There's no two ways about it. Without clean drinking water, nothing else matters. Imagine a scenario where the economy collapses and money becomes worthless. In such a world, clean water will be more valuable than gold. This is where a reliable water filtration system becomes your best friend. It ensures you and your family don't fall prey to waterborne diseases, which can be deadly in times of crisis. Now let me get personal for a moment. I have a family and their safety is my top priority. That's why I've invested in several types of water filtration systems. Portable systems like the Life Straw or Berkeley filters are essential. These little lifesavers can turn even the dirtiest puddle into something safe to drink. They're compact, easy to use, and incredibly effective. I've tested them myself on countless camping trips, and believe me, they work wonders. Picture this, a major disaster hits, everyone's panicking, scrambling for clean water. But you, my friend, are sitting pretty with a stockpile of water filters. You'll be the neighborhood hero, the one who can provide clean water when it's needed most. It's not just about surviving, it's about thriving in a crisis. With a good water filtration system, you can collect rainwater, purify river water, or even make those questionable puddles usable. That's the kind of resilience that keeps you ahead of the curve. Here's another bonus. Having a reliable water filtration system means you won't have to rely on unreliable government aid or charity. You'll be self-sufficient, able to take care of your own needs and those of your loved ones. That's real independence, folks, and it's something worth striving for. Next, we have fire starters. Fire might seem basic, but it's essential for survival. It's not just about cooking, it's about warmth and protection. Imagine the power's out, it's freezing outside, and your family needs to stay warm. That's where fire starters come in. Matches, lighters, and those amazing magnesium sticks, these become hot commodities in a barter system. I personally stockpile them because, let's be honest, when everyone else is struggling to keep warm or cook their food, you'll be the one with the upper hand. Picture a cold night, wind howling like a hungry wolf, but you've got a roaring fire crackling in the hearth. It's not just about comfort, it's about survival. Here's the beauty of fire starters. They're compact, lightweight, and incredibly valuable in a pinch. You can carry them anywhere, and they don't take up much space. But their value in a bartering situation? Through the roof. You could trade a magnesium stick for almost anything you need. Imagine needing some food or water. You offer a fire starter, and suddenly you've got what you need. That's the kind of leverage you don't want to miss out on. And let me tell you, knowing you can start a fire anytime gives you a huge survival advantage. There's a sense of security in that. Whether you're camping, facing a natural disaster, or any other emergency, having the ability to make fire means you're prepared. I've used these fire starters countless times on camping trips, and they're a lifesaver. It's not just about the fire, it's about the peace of mind it brings. Next, imagine the grid goes down, and trust me, it can and will happen at some point. Solar chargers become an absolute lifeline. 
Imagine this, a massive storm rolls through, the power cuts out, and suddenly you're cut off from the world. No electricity means no way to charge your essential devices. Phones, radios, flashlights. That's where a good solar charger comes in. It keeps you connected and informed, which is crucial in a crisis. Think about it. Without power, you can't call for help, access emergency broadcasts, or stay in touch with loved ones. A solar charger ensures your phone stays alive, your radio keeps running, and your flashlight is always ready. This isn't just about convenience, it's about survival. Staying in the loop during a crisis is critical. You need to know what's happening, where to go, and what to avoid. Here's another bonus. Solar power is renewable. As long as there's sunlight, you've got power. You're not relying on finite resources like gas for a generator. It's a sustainable, eco-friendly option that ensures you're always prepared. Plus, solar chargers are versatile. You can use them for camping, traveling, or any other outdoor activity. It's a one-time investment that pays off multiple times over. Now, let's talk about fuel. While solar chargers are amazing for keeping your small electronics going, there will be times when you need a bit more muscle. That's where our power trio comes in. Propane, gasoline, and firewood. Think of them as the heavy hitters of your fuel reserves. Propane is a versatile fuel and a must-have for cooking, heating water, and even powering some appliances like camp stoves and propane lanterns. It's relatively clean burning, stores well, and is readily available in most places. Similarly, gasoline is primarily for vehicles and generators. It's important to store gasoline safely, following proper guidelines. But having a safe, controlled supply on hand can be a lifesaver if you need to evacuate or rely on a generator for power. And finally, firewood is the OG of fuels. It's a fantastic source of heat and can even be used for cooking. It's readily available in many areas, renewable if managed properly, and provides a sense of traditional comfort during a power outage. Having a variety of fuel sources gives you options. Propane for quick and easy cooking, gasoline for larger tasks, and firewood for that cozy campfire feel, plus the ability to cook even without a stove. It's all about being prepared for any situation. Remember, knowledge is power. And when the internet goes down and you can't just Google what you need, these books on survival skills will be your lifeline. Books on gardening, hunting, foraging, and first aid will be invaluable. They provide the knowledge you need to sustain yourself and your family. For example, a book on gardening can teach you how to cultivate your own food. You'll learn about different plants, the conditions they need to thrive, and how to care for them. This knowledge can transform a small patch of land into a bountiful garden that provides fresh, nutritious food. Similarly, books on hunting and foraging can teach you how to find food in the wild. You'll learn about edible plants, how to track animals, and best methods for hunting. First aid books are also crucial in an emergency. Knowing how to treat injuries can save lives. These books can teach you how to deal with cuts, burns, fractures, and other common injuries. They can also guide you on how to handle more serious medical situations when professional help is unavailable. Having a library of survival knowledge makes you a critical asset in any community. People will turn to you for guidance and information. You can trade your knowledge and skills for other necessities, ensuring you stay ahead in a crisis. For example, if you know how to purify water or build a shelter, you can trade that knowledge for food, tools, or other essential items. In a world without readily available gas, a bicycle becomes your reliable mode of transportation. Need to get to a friend's house, check on your crops, or explore your surroundings? A bicycle is your answer. Plus, they're a fantastic way to stay healthy and get some exercise. But a bicycle is only useful if you can keep it running. That's why having a stock of spare parts like tires, tubes, and a good repair kit is essential. Knowing how to fix a flat tire or adjust your brakes can be the difference between getting where you need to go and being stranded. Fishing is not just a hobby, it's a sustainable way to get protein. Rods, reels, lines, hooks, and nets. These are essentials for anyone living near a body of water. Fishing gear is durable, and with the right skills, it can provide a steady food source in times of need. Knowing how to fish sets you apart. It's a skill and a resource that will always be in demand. Let me give you a personal example. I've got my rods and reels ready to go, and I've spent time learning how to use them effectively. Now I can catch fish for my family, and I can even trade fresh fish or teach others how to fish. That makes me a valuable member of my community. People will always need food, and those who can provide it will always have a place at the table. Fishing isn't just about survival, it's about thriving and ensuring a steady food supply when times are tough. 
In addition to being a source of protein, fishing also provides an opportunity to connect with nature, clear your mind, and stay physically active. It's a win-win all around. And let's not forget that fresh fish is delicious and packed with nutrients, one of the best sources of protein you can get. So invest in some good fishing gear, learn the skills, and you'll be well prepared to feed yourself and your loved ones when other food sources might not be available. Remember folks, preparation is key. By having these essential items on hand, along with the knowledge and skills to use them, you'll be well on your way to facing any challenge that comes your way. When the power goes out and the world plunges into darkness, flashlights and candles become your essential allies. Imagine this, a blackout hits in the middle of the night. You fumble around, bumping into furniture, desperate for a light source. That's where a reliable flashlight comes in. Keep a few handy with different sized batteries so you're always prepared. But flashlights need batteries, and those can run out. That's why having a good stock of candles is equally important. They provide a warm, ambient light source, and can even create a sense of comfort during a stressful time. Plus, they can be used for cooking if necessary. Let me tell you my story. Just last month, we had a storm that knocked out our power for days. Thanks to a few flashlights and a stash of candles, we managed just fine. We could read, play games, and even cook a simple meal by candlelight. It wasn't ideal, but it wasn't a disaster either. Now remember, flashlights and candles aren't just for your own use. In a barter system, they become valuable commodities. Imagine someone panicking because their flashlight batteries are dead, and they can't find their way around in the dark. A spare flashlight or a box of candles could be exactly what they need. You could trade them for food, water, or other essential items. You might not think much about batteries when you can just plug things into the wall, but when the power goes out, batteries become a lifesaver. Flashlights, radios, even some medical devices, they all need batteries. Stock up on a variety of sizes, AA, AAA, C, and D. You never know what you might need to power up in a crisis. During a power outage, batteries become gold. I've got a whole drawer dedicated to batteries, and let me tell you, they've come in handy countless times. Just last month, the storm knocked out our power for three days. But with our battery-powered flashlights and radio for news updates, we were able to stay informed and navigate the darkness. We even had a battery-powered fan to keep us cool. But it's not just about having them for yourself. Batteries are a fantastic bartering item. People will need them for their flashlights, radios, kids' toys, and more. Picture this, someone is desperate for a pack of AA batteries and willing to trade a whole bag of fresh produce or even some home-baked goods for it. A friend of mine has a solar battery charger, another game changer. He charges his batteries during the day and uses them at night. He's even traded those charged batteries for fresh vegetables and meat. That's the kind of smart prepper thinking we all need. Medical supplies go beyond just antibiotics. Basic first aid supplies like bandages, antiseptics, and pain relievers will be in high demand. In a world without easy access to doctors, these supplies can save lives. I stock up on items like gauze, medical tape, and wound cleaning solutions. You need to be prepared for any situation. I can't tell you how many times I've used my first aid kit. Whether it's a cut, a burn, or a sprain, having the right supplies on hand makes all the difference in an emergency. You don't want to be scrambling to find a bandage or some antiseptic when you need it most. You can trade these supplies for food, water, and other essentials people will need. Medical supplies put you in a position of strength. When someone's hurt and you have what they need, you're not just helping them, you're securing your own future. I've seen it firsthand. In tough times, those who are prepared thrive, while those who aren't prepared struggle. Similar to medical supplies, another important supply you should have is that of hygiene products. These are absolutely essential, folks. Cleanliness isn't just about looking good, it's about staying healthy and preventing the spread of disease. Soap, toothpaste, feminine hygiene products, and toilet paper. These will be worth their weight in gold in a crisis. When stores run dry, and they will, people are going to need these desperately. A good supply of hygiene items means you'll be in a strong position to barter for other necessities. If you've ever been caught in a cold snap, you know how essential warmth is. And when it comes to staying warm, nothing beats a good wool blanket. These things are amazing. They're durable, keep you warm even when wet, and can be used in so many ways. You can sleep under them, wrap them around you as makeshift clothing, or even use them as a barrier against the wind. In cold climates, wool blankets are worth their weight in gold. Staying warm and dry is crucial for survival. 
Hypothermia is a real threat, and having the right gear can make all the difference. Wool blankets are up to the task. They're heavy duty and last a long time. I've got a couple that have been through a lot, and they're still going strong. And just like baking supplies, wool blankets are great for bartering. Picture this. It's the middle of winter and someone's out there shivering. You offer them a warm wool blanket in exchange for some canned goods or fresh vegetables. That's a trade they'll jump at. Warmth is a basic human need, and when you're prepared, you have something of immense value. Sewing supplies might seem like a small thing, but it's incredibly important. Clothes wear out, folks. Buttons pop off, seams split, and in a world where you can't just buy new clothes, knowing how to repair them is crucial. I've got a sewing kit that's always ready to go. Needles, thread in various colors, patches, and even some extra buttons. And it's not just for me. I've sewn up my kids' clothes and even my own work shirts. Keeping our clothes in good repair isn't just about looking good, it's about staying warm, protected, and comfortable. Think about this. Your favorite jacket gets a tear. In the old days, you just buy a new one. But now you sew it up good as new. That skill is invaluable. I've traded sewing services for fresh eggs, garden vegetables, and even some home-brewed beer. People appreciate it when you can help them fix their clothes. Let's not forget that these supplies are small and easy to store. A little box of needles and thread can go a long way. It's a small investment for a big return, keeping your family's clothes in good shape, being able to trade services, and just knowing you can handle whatever comes your way. That's priceless. Honey is more than just a natural sweetener that makes your food taste incredible. It's also a preservative and has amazing medicinal properties. Honey never spoils. That's right, it can last forever. Archaeologists have found pots of honey in ancient Egyptian tombs that are still perfectly edible. It's incredible. This means that when you're stockpiling honey, you're investing in something that will always be good to use, no matter how long you need to store it. Now, why is honey so great? Let me give you some examples. First, in cooking, you can use honey in countless recipes. It's great for baking, adding to tea, or even glazing meats. It's a versatile ingredient that enhances the flavor of your food. But honey's benefits go beyond the kitchen. It has antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. If you get a cut or a burn, applying honey can help with healing. It's also great for soothing a sore throat or cough. A spoonful of honey with some warm water and lemon can work wonders. Honey is also a fantastic barter item. In a situation where trading becomes essential, honey is something people will always want. Its versatility and long shelf life make it a valuable commodity. You can trade honey for other essentials like food, medicine, or tools. Let's talk about baking supplies. Flour, yeast, baking soda, and baking powder. These are the building blocks of any good kitchen. And when times get tough, people are going to need to bake their own bread and other essentials. Imagine the shelves are empty, and there's no bread to be found. What are you going to do? You're going to bake your own. A little bit of flour and yeast can go a long way. Here's why these items are so great. They're versatile. With just a few basic ingredients, you can make bread, pancakes, biscuits, and so much more. In a crisis, being able to feed your family is priority number one. Plus, baking is a comforting activity. There's something about kneading dough and the smell of fresh bread that just boosts morale. It makes you feel normal, even when things are far from normal. But here's the kicker, folks. These baking supplies are also fantastic for bartering. In a crisis, the economy doesn't stop, it just changes. People will need food, and if you've got the supplies to make it, you're in a strong position. Imagine trading a loaf of bread for a few cans of beans or a bag of rice. That's the kind of trade that'll keep you and your family going. Next, we have essential oils. I know what some of you might be thinking, but hear me out. These oils are packed with therapeutic properties. Oils like tea tree, lavender, and peppermint can treat a variety of ailments and boost your morale. They're compact, easy to store, and in a world without conventional medicine, they become incredibly valuable. Tea tree oil is a powerful antiseptic. I use it to treat cuts, scrapes, and even insect bites. Lavender oil is fantastic for stress relief and promoting sleep. When you're stressed and sleep deprived, a few drops of lavender oil can make a world of difference. Peppermint oil is great for headaches, nausea, and even keeping pests away. These oils aren't just for personal use, they're prime barter items. Imagine trading a small vial of lavender oil for some fresh vegetables or a dozen eggs. People will want these oils for their healing properties, and because they're natural, unlike the synthetic stuff you get from Big Pharma. During allergy season, my family used to suffer a lot. 
Now we use a blend of essential oils, including eucalyptus and peppermint, to help with congestion and sinus issues. It's a natural remedy that works wonders and keeps us off over-the-counter meds, which might not always be available. Having canning supplies is absolutely essential, folks. Preserving food is absolutely crucial when you can't just run to the store whenever you want. We're talking about canning jars, lids, and all the tools you need to safely preserve your harvest. You grow your own vegetables, fruits, maybe even some meat. You've got to make that bounty last. I've got a basement full of canned goods, tomatoes, beans, peaches, even some homemade salsa. You name it, I've probably canned it. Why? Because it gives me peace of mind. I know that if things go south, my family won't go hungry. And it's not just about having food. It's about having nutritious food, fresh from your garden, preserved at home. It doesn't get better than that. Let me give you a real example. Last year, my tomato plants were incredibly productive. More tomatoes than we could eat fresh, so we canned them. Now we've got jars of tomatoes that we use for soups, sauces, you name it. Those canning skills are invaluable. My neighbors know I can, and when they see those shelves of beautiful canned goods, they know who to come to for advice or for trade. I've traded jars of homemade salsa for eggs, milk, even some homemade bread. Folks, it's not just about the food, it's the jars, the lids, the tools. They're all worth their weight in gold. You can trade canned goods or even offer canning services. Trust me, in a world where food security is a big question mark, knowing how to can makes you indispensable. Let's talk about something that might surprise you. A manual coffee grinder and some coffee beans. Coffee isn't just a luxury, it's a necessity. It's a morale booster. It's a symbol of normalcy. Picture this, chaos outside. But inside, you're grinding your coffee beans, brewing that perfect cup, and taking a moment to savor it. It's a little piece of heaven in uncertain times. A manual grinder and a stash of coffee beans will be highly prized. Why? Because electricity might be out but that hand grinder will still get the job done. And those beans, they'll be like gold. Coffee isn't just for you, you see. It's a high-value barter item. People will crave that comfort, that routine, that normalcy that a cup of coffee brings. Imagine trading a pound of beans for fresh produce, medical supplies, or even gasoline. The possibilities are endless. Plus, it's lightweight and easy to store. You can take it anywhere, and it won't weigh you down. I personally use my manual grinder every morning. It's not just about the coffee, it's about starting my day with a sense of purpose and normalcy. So stock up, folks, it's worth it. Moving on to a more serious topic, we have antibiotics. In a collapsed economy, hospitals and pharmacies won't be the same. They'll be overrun, understocked, and possibly even closed. Antibiotics will become a high-value trade item, worth their weight in gold. That's why it's crucial to stock up on broad-spectrum antibiotics like amoxicillin and ciprofloxacin. These can treat a range of infections and can be life-saving. A simple cut or scrape can turn deadly if it gets infected and you don't have antibiotics on hand. But with a good stockpile, you'll be prepared for anything. I've got a stash of antibiotics that could treat a variety of common ailments, from respiratory infections to urinary tract infections. This isn't just for my family, it's also a valuable trade item. Imagine this scenario. Your neighbor runs out of food and comes to you for help. You offer them a course of antibiotics in exchange for a month's worth of food. That's the power you hold when you're prepared. You're not just surviving, you're negotiating from a position of strength. In a world where the rule of law might break down, having antibiotics could be the difference between life and death, between thriving and merely scraping by. And let's not forget the peace of mind that comes with being prepared knowing that you can handle medical emergencies on your own terms. Without relying on potentially unavailable or unreliable outside help is priceless. It's a form of insurance that goes beyond anything money can buy in normal times. Personally, I've had a close call where having antibiotics on hand made all the difference. My son had a severe infection that could have gotten much worse if we didn't have the right medicine at home. That's when I knew I had to stock up and be ready for anything. It's an investment in your family's health and your peace of mind. Having all these items on hand is not enough. Knowing how and when to use them is also very important. Click the video on screen now to learn how to survive the first 100 days after the collapse.